Alright, hey guys, I'm Pepperdirt again. Uh, I did say I wouldn't do another batch scripting, uh, what do you call this, tutorial. However, I, I did learn something new and I kind of wanted to share. It, it uh, I don't know, it was just kind of cool to me. And maybe, maybe you'll enjoy it too. Maybe you haven't learned this one. Uh, okay, it's, it's about error level though. So, apparently you can set error level at the end of the script and you're not using an extra variable it's it's just the built-in error level and you can set it to you know like one or zero and uh... i know that sounds pretty simple pretty silly that i wouldn't know that but uh... call me crazy but that's that's what i got so i got this little script here to test this out now uh, let's see this is important okay we go to a call so we call an external external script, um, which is this one, set error. And so right now I have it saying cd slash null or caret null. And what that actually does is sets error level because uh, if a successful cd command executes, then error level is zero. Demonstration. Uh, error level is right now 9009. And if we do cd null, now error level is zero. So it's just that simple. So this script runs, it returns, and then based on that return value, we can say, hey, uh, and actually we've got it echoed out so that you can actually see, because I do not believe echoing does not change uh, error level. See, I can echo it a few times, and error level still set. Um, so we're going to echo it out and then go to uh, whatever result it gave us. So if it gave us a zero, then we say, hey, return with no errors, good job. And actually we set it return, then actually we set error level to zero again, uh, actually for no reason, because it was already zero but just 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 for coding just because we can and then go to ef eof a go to statement also does not set error level so we can safely go to eof and end the script and then after the script is done uh, let's see what do i got test okay error zero exit with no errors after it's done then we can actually check error level again in case it was useful to us uh, that's pretty much what I got for you. Um, we could come over here and do the opposite. Uh, this is the best way I've found. I, I haven't played with this much, so I don't know how efficient fine string is, but it, it's only working on a... Um, it's only working on a directory, so... And we all have Windows, I'm assuming. See Windows. <laughs> so it's going to find... Uh, that directory and then search this string. Honestly, I don't know what that's doing since it's directory, but uh, apparently it works to set error level to one. And uh, demonstration, demo, demoing that. What, what do we got? Test. And it says error is found because this set error level to one. So that, that's uh, it's just kind of handy. I mean, you could based on input set var equal to percent one so based on input you know you you code here code is here and after the, that codes there uh, what else could happen well but after that code then you say okay now I gotta decide if we're going to end the script good uh, with an error or without so then you do the same thing uh, if var equals one and zero then go to EOF success and this uh, space right here is very important if you don't put it in it will be an error and then you do a EOF uh, success and echo yay Woo. and again set the set the set it as good
and then actually go to the EOF. Likewise, EOF uh, error, and we would do the same. Echo, you know, bad. Normally, I don't, you, the reason for setting error level is so you, you don't have to echo anything, because your your program right here, our script, will receive uh, this input, the error level, and and then based on that, it will print you a message or whatever it needs to do. Uh, I'll, I'll, and I actually have more demos of this uh, in actual use later. Um, which is why I'm excited about this, because, you know, it, it, it kind of became useful to me, and I'm hopefully, if I ever make another batch script that's useful, you know, this will be incorporated, and it'll look all pretty. So, echo bad, um, find string, and see windows. Right. Go to EOF, and we actually need an EOF. All right. So it's pretty much like that. Now if we go over to our test and input two. No, that didn't work. Two. Uh, put up, put up, put up. Oh. What? Arg one, arg one. If arg one is nothing, then set it to zero. If it's something, all right. And arg one. And what did we just write? <laughs> uh, what script am I on? Sorry, guys. Uh, set error. Okay, 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 okay. Set error. I probably should just use Notepad because this looks confusing. Oh, well, anyway, uh, I'm actually. I guess I'm not going to look at this because I do not want to do any editing. Uh, but that's kind of how it works. Uh, I'm I'm going to probably next week or soon. I'll I'll put out something else that will. You know, th this is not useful in itself. Well. Uh, but I'm actually going to show you how you might use it uh, in a real, a real, you know, in a in a script that might become useful to you. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm actually setting up so that we can write scripts that will. I'm going to give you a template. But basically, this template will have all the, my all of these uh, techniques, and these techniques will should make uh, the programs run a little smooth smoother uh, if not smoother then at least it'll have a well a template a setup you hmm, a bowling plate it, it should be pretty simple to make what you want of it and it function well and you don't have to go back to it and say okay where, where where's it you, you'll see in, you'll see in a bit anyway uh, th this is pepper dirt I'm, I've talked too long I'm signing off, and uh, God bless you guys. Take take it easy. Bloop. Good work, Cam Studio. <laughs>